Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Saturday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 14 through 21. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive for all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. In today's Gospel reading according to St. Matthew, we find Jesus is becoming a figure of controversy. We saw yesterday how he was accused by the Pharisees of condoning the breaking on the Sabbath on the part of his disciples. Far from apologizing, Jesus defended his followers and implied that he himself was greater than the law. Immediately afterwards, he went to a synagogue and, in spite of a challenge about healing on the Sabbath, went ahead and cured a physically handicapped man. At the end of this story, Matthew says, the Pharisees went out and began to plot against him, discussing how to destroy him. He was seen as a severe threat to their authority. And that is where our reading begins today. Jesus was fully aware of their plotting, and so he disappeared from sight for a while. We should be clear that Jesus did not go out of his way to confront and attack people. Still less was his behavior deliberately designed to create trouble for himself. There are people like that, they go out of their way to make trouble for others and for themselves. Jesus never behaved in such a way. He didn't want to attack or to be attacked by certain people. He did not deliberately engineer his own sufferings and death, quite the contrary. So now as things got hot for him, he withdraws for a while. At this point, St. Matthew, who we remember is writing for a Jewish readership, shows how Jesus' behavior corresponds to a prophecy in the Old Testament. The passage that he quotes from is from the prophet Isaiah, and it shows Jesus as full of the Spirit of God, campaigning for justice for peoples everywhere. He is the servant whom God has chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. He is no demagogue shouting from a soapbox, He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. He moves around quietly and, at the same time, is tolerant and understanding of the weak. His behavior is described beautifully as the bruised reed he will not crush, the smoldering wick he will not quench. We too are called to live and proclaim the gospel without compromise but to do so without any taint of arrogance or bullying, and at the same time, with patience and understanding for those 
who are not yet ready to answer Jesus' call. Something for all of us to ponder. After our closing prayer, reread the scripture passage and contemplate its message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. And now let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your holy word, we pray, O Lord, that by our embracing your teachings, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.